Gertrude, the pain, it's getting worse. Take heart, dear. The doctor will be here directly. Oh. Oh, oh. You see, there he is. Oh. All is well, my darling. Oh. Dr. Fitzgerald, at your service. I came as swiftly as I could. It is pissing outside. Oh, doctor, there's a sharp pain in my abdomen. I, I feel like a regular William McKinley. Too soon, Reginald. In any event, it's clear that you're suffering from an inflammation of the appendix. <gasps> oh, my stars, this is surely a death sentence. Maybe if this were 1907, but it's 1910. There's a very good chance you'll likely be relatively fine. There is, however, one small catch. As you can see, and I only assume you can see me as I cannot see you seeing me, I cannot see. I won't bore you with the scientific details, but let's just say I stabbed my own eyes out. Oh, whatever shall we do? This pain will be the death of me. No, no, don't worry. Your life can be placed in the hands of my trusted assistant. Come in, Dr. Nanner Hands! My sincerest apologies. I've neglected to mention that Dr. Nannerhands is the world's very first hyper-intelligent, fully trained ape surgeon. A gorilla? Absolutely not! <laughs> Look, he is taking your pulse just like a normal human doctor would. This is a nightmare! I am appalled that you would even suggest such a crazy idea, Dr. Fitzgerald. Of course, the procedure will be free of charge. Let's not be too hasty, Reginald. Maybe we should give this Mr. Nannerhands a chance. Dr. Nannerhands? This ape is a fully certified physician. I don't care who certified him, he's still an animal. <laughs> Hands, they're so soft, and gentle, and his bedside manner is impeccable. Of course it is. Doctor Nana Hans has performed over three dozen successful appendectomies, long cadavers, the ape cadavers, the partial ape cadavers. But the biology is remarkably similar to humans. Well, it's not very similar at all. Okay, it's completely different. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Ape cadavers, now listen. Oh, 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 oh. Not good, sir, because I anticipated Dr. Nanahan's losing control despite my high praise of his professionalism. That's why I always travel with a secondary assistant. Thank goodness. Dr. Grizzly Bear. Ah! 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 